visited other religious refugees from England. On Saturdays, he walked Antwerp streets seeking ministry to the poor. On Sundays, he dined in merchants' homes, reading scripture before and after dinner, and dialoguing with them about the faith. No one was sure who betrayed him. A man named Henry Phillips is often referred to, but no one knows for sure. But he was lured into the arms of soldiers, put on trial for heresy of translating the Bible into English. In early August, 1536, Tyndale was condemned as a heretic, degraded from the priesthood, and delivered to the secular authorities for punishment. On Friday, October 6, after local officials took their seats, Tyndale was brought to the cross in the middle of the town square and given a, given a chance to recant. He refused. The English historian John Fox said, he cried out, Lord, open the eyes of the King of England. Then he was bound to the beam. Both an iron chain and a rope were put around his neck, and he was burned at the stake. That's our heritage, and that's our name. So welcome to Tyndale. a university and a seminary with a rich 120 some years history. A university and a seminary that is named for William Tyndale who lived out with passion and purpose what the Lord requires of us. A university and seminary that seeks to nurture the critical minds and deep character and a vibrant faith and to see our alumni moving out into the community and the workplace in the way that its namesake did so that we might do justice, we might love mercy, and we might walk humbly with our God. Amen. Amen. And in order to fulfill the calling that God has for us and to be who God wants us to be, we are dependent on the Holy Spirit. So let's stand and sing this prayer together. Holy Spirit, living breath of God.
asking as your name is called uh, that you would come and stand at the front and turn and face your fellow students. Um, please refrain from applauding until we're finished so that we can have an opportunity for that at the close of time. Um, so again, some of these come as a result of academic honors and that have been voted by the faculty. Some are scholarships or bursaries as a result of certain eligibility. And so again, congratulations in advance. The first, the Betty it's also found in your program if you'd like to follow along. The Betty Piercy Memorial Scholarship in Music, Daniel Dorman. The Chancellor Circle Entrepreneur, Entrepreneurial Award, Kamari Duffus. The Cornerstone Montessori Prep School Scholarship, Alexandra Kam. The David Maines Communication Scholarship, Dennis Michaelis. The Dr. Brad Fott Tyndale Hockey Scholarship, and I must add that this was provided by an anonymous donor that is not named Brad Fott. <laughs> Wesley Dickens. Dr. Jacob Jake Dick Memorial Scholarship, Megan Wicks. The Hope International Scholarship, Robert Wong. The Isabella Zacharias Scholarship in Evangelism and Apologetics, Jillian Lee and Jeremy Mitchell. A few of the names that I'll be reading out represent students that are in their fourth year Pentecostal studies and are back on the rock. Jim and Isabel Crawford Youth Leadership Scholarship, Isaiah Sims. The Ottawa Chinese Alliance Church Scholarship, Mary Yip. The Pentecostal Assemblies of Newfoundland and Labrador Academic Excellence Scholarship, Sarah Hunter. By my count, I'm 0 for 4. Uh, the Pentecostal Assemblies of Newfoundland and Labrador Christian Character Scholarship, Kelsey Arnold. Michael and Eleanor Henderson Student Athlete Scholarship, Mackenzie Langford. My captain. Go Golden Seals. The Troughton Family Scholarship, Natasha Daly. And already in front of us, but receiving a second award, the UC Faculty Scholarship, Jillian Lee. You may now applaud, and if you brought an air horn, set it off now. <laughs> Congratulations, students. You may return to your seat. And just before the seminary comes for its awards, I'm reminded to ask you as students to remain after the recessional. Uh, we're taking a group picture from the uh, balcony. And so I'd ask you to stay and uh, be ready for that as well. Dr. Clark.
On behalf of the seminary faculty, it's my privilege to acknowledge and honor seminary students who've achieved honors and scholarships. These are returning seminary students. Um, we also have graduating student awards that are given out at the graduation service. Also at this time, I just want to acknowledge that sitting with us today are many of the donors of these scholarships, and we thank you so much for your investment uh, in all of our students. Baraka Falathia Scholarship for Christian Education, Christine Freeman, Minhee Kang, Sarah Meyer, Emmanuel Okiara, the Brenda McKay Scholarship, Helen Lenz, the Chancellor Circle Entrepreneurial Award, Rachel Fan, the Class of 36 Scholarship, Natasha Benavides, the Corporal Chad O'Quinn Memorial Award, Giovanna Heron, the Dr. Quan Chi Kao Scholarship, Lawrence Homan Leung, Dr. Stuart Beamer Scholarship, Jeffrey Lin Napur James, the Dr. Nell Maxwell Scholarship, Gabrielle Hong, Harvest Counseling Award, Samuel Bariani, Eric Bauman. The Hebrew Award, Indrek Jarve. The Joseph McDermott Scholarship in Evangelism, Charles Chan. The Joyce K.Y. Chu Memorial Scholarship, Camille Wong. Mario Daganji Scholarship, Linda Jung. Mr. and Mrs. Alex McCready Proficiency Award, Jared Friesen. The Norma Marion Alloway Memorial Writing Scholarship, Rachel Fan. Ottawa Chinese Alliance Church Scholarship, Karen Leung. Paul and Eleanor Henderson Student Athlete Scholarship, Eric Bauman. Ping Chi and Phoebe Wong Scholarship, Ruth Sangalang. Professor Donald Leggett Prize, Ben Bartosik, Simon Pan, Kate Wong. The Reverend Leonard Chester Scholarship, Malisha Bannon. The Stanley Boswell Expository Preaching Award, Caleb Courtney. The Troughton Family Scholarship, Jessica Chu. The Victor Adrian Award in Christian Apologetics and Mission, Jessica Chu. Violet Cowell Flan Scholarship, Elizabeth James. Wayson Lau Memorial Scholarship, Sarah Meyer. The York Minster Award in Homiletics, Leah Vetro. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding returning students. Shall we all stand together as we pray? Loving God, as we begin this journey of a new school year, we would ask that you refresh our souls, renew our spirits, and enliven our minds. Today, we especially welcome those who are new to our community. But for all of us, as we gather together, may we find this to be a place of acceptance and also a place that will challenge each one of us that we might be all that you intend us to be with the wonderful gifts that you have given to us. Above all, may this year be a time of personal growth and transformation as we seek to grow closer to you. 
This we pray in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you not only today, but in all of your tomorrows. And may we go forth to love and serve God with all of our heart. And together, we bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy.